Hey y'all, uh, Deb Evans here. I'm doing a quick video to talk about charitable contributions. Um, charitable contributions are when you give money to charity, right? Um, and in some circumstances, you can deduct them on your tax return. So let's talk about what that means. In order to deduct a contribution, it has to be made to a 501c3 charity. These are charities that have been given nonprofit status by the IRS um, and your, your donations to them are tax deductible. If you are not sure if a charity um, is a 501c3, the IRS has a list. You can go in, in in a database. You can go in and type in the name and whatever information you have and see if it's on the list of 501c3s. Now, this is important because um, a few years back, Hurricane Harvey um, wreaked, rap, wreaked havoc on Houston. And the next year, I had a lot of people come in and say they wanted to deduct um, the money they gave to their neighbor <laughs> to fix a fence or something like that. And it was wonderful that they wanted to help each other, but it's not tax deductible unless it goes through a charity. OK, so you do something like that. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Um, but you're not going to get a tax write off for it. All okay. right. Um, the other thing to know is if you donate to a charity and you get something for your donation, um, the whole thing is not deductible. For example, if you go to a fancy dinner, a lot of the big charities have these fancy dinners that they have, um, and you pay $100 for your table or for your seat at the table, only the portion that's not food is deductible. And that's kind of hard to figure out sometimes, um, but a lot of times the charities will tell you um, 80% of your deduction, 80% of your um, donation is deductible, something like that. Um, so it's something to know. It's not always easy to do it um, accurately, but, but knowing, knowing what you're supposed to do is important. Okay, so um, the other thing, that I might, so those are cash contributions. The other thing is an in-kind contribution. Let's say you clean out your closet, take a bunch of clothes to Goodwill. They will give you a receipt, and but they will not put a value on it. You need to put a value on it, okay? Um, you can't put an excessive amount of value on your charitable contribution though, okay? So they have guidelines that they go by. So if you take a bag of clothes, um, then it has to be valued at the thrift store value. So what would they turn around and sell it for? And there's also um, links online that give you information like this. So you can look up Goodwill um, deductions and it will give you um, a list of what the, what the common value is for things. The important thing is it's not what you pay for it, if you're giving away something that's used, it is what the value is of it now. Now, let's say you donate um, refreshments for um, your charity's um, event. You donate a bunch of food and, and water and, and things like that. Um, you can deduct what you paid for that because you're paying for it to go directly to the charity. So no matter what contribution you have, you need to have receipts for it. You need to have proof that you paid it. OK, now this is not um, a big area for audit concern, but it can be if, if your deduction seem if your contributions seem out of line for your income category, um, it will get their attention. So if you are um, if you make so let's say you have a really low, um, a low income and you make like thirty thousand dollars and you donate fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> probably gonna get their attention. So they have a list of each category of income and what the average contribution is for that. Now, does that mean you can't give more? Maybe you um, you're, you're don't have any expenses for some reason and you made 30,000, you spent 15,000 of it on donations. Go ahead and take and claim the deduction, but know that you're gonna to have to prove it. So keep all of your receipts. Okay, um, so at the end of the year, your charity should send you a tax letter that says exactly what you donated to them through the year. You're gonna to wanna to want that. Um, you're gonna to wanna to have receipts if you went to the store and bought things to give to the charity, maybe some kind of proof that you did that. Um, the other thing to remember with charities is that a charity donation is a personal deduction, um, personal. So you deduct it on your, on your schedule A, your itemized deductions. Now. A few years back, 
I had a lot of people itemizing their deductions. The standard deduction was like $12,000 for married filing jointly. It was very easy to spend more than that once you added up your deductions for um, your interest, in, your, your mortgage interest, your, um, your property taxes, and your charitable contributions. But in 2017, they changed the law and the standard deduction for married filing joint is 24,000, 25,000 now. And so it's a little bit harder to get above that. So I have a lot of people who used to itemize, they're not itemizing anymore. So they're not able to, um, to claim that charitable contribution because it's already lumped in there. Um, doesn't mean you shouldn't donate, <laughs> just means you not, may not get the, the deduction for it. Now, last year, as part of the, the uh, COVID Cares Act thing, they said that, well, if you do the standard deduction, you can, don't, you can uh, deduct $300 of charitable contributions. And that was pretty easy to get to for a lot of people. So we added that $300 um, to the standard deduction. This year, it's $300 per person. So if you're married filing jointly this year, you can get $600. So even if you're taking the standard deduction, if you've donated anything to charity, go ahead and bring us your receipts and we will, you can go ahead and claim it on top of the standard deduction. So that's huge. That's a really big thing um, for a lot of people taking the standard that still donate. Um, you get a little something for it, right? Um, the other thing to remember, I mentioned the personal deduction and I'm talking really fast and sorry. Um, personal deduction. If you are a business and you are a sole proprietor, which means you are filing your taxes on your Schedule C, that means that you and your business are one, right? Your business is you, you are your business. Um, and so you cannot deduct your business expenses for charitable contributions, okay? Can't do it. It has to go on your personal tax return. Now, if you're an S corp, you can. If you're a C corp, you can, because those are separate entities, okay? They file their own tax return. So they can make a deduction, uh, or can make a donation that's, deduct, that's deducted on their business tax return, okay? So if you're an LLC to act as a sole proprietor, or you're just a sole proprietor, DBA, um, you have to deduct on your personal tax return, not on your business portion. So how can we get around that? Um, <laughs> if you are a business, um, a lot of what we call charitable contributions are actually advertising. Like if you are... Uh, donating to the neighborhood uh, soccer league or little league, um, and you're getting your name put on the back of shirts, that's advertising, okay? So if possible, turn those charitable contributions into advertising or possibly gifts. Now remember with gifts, um, $25 is the limit per um, gift receiver. So that's kind of stinks. We all spend a lot more than that on our clients, but you can only deduct $25 of it. Okay, so charitable contributions, um, do it. Don't think about the deduction, but you can get a deduction in many cases. Um, if you're looking for a charity to donate to, I am the founder of one called Reclaimed Paws. We opened this year, reclaimedpaws.org. We are a nonprofit dog rescue in Houston, and we uh, transport dogs up to the Northeast New England and Pacific Northwest to find amazing homes for them. And we would love your donations if you're looking for somebody to donate to. But all donations are good. Um, so it's the end of the year when everybody wants to make their donations. So um, they keep us in mind. But whatever charity you support is, is wonderful. Thank you so much. Have a great day.